Well, mine are personal, really, in the sense, because uh, Prime Minister, I've known him for pretty much most of my parliamentary career, and he's been a good friend, and I was involved and helped run his campaign, and uh, we've always kept in contact with each other. So I'm sad to see that he's going through this trial, uh, and I feel very sorry, uh, and my thoughts and prayers with his family um, at this time, uh, carries alone. Uh, with uh, being pregnant and also the other children that he has. So this is a difficult moment for all of them. But that notwithstanding, the Boris I know is a fighter. Uh, he never gives up. His whole life has been about that. So uh, I'm with him all the way, as many of my friends and colleagues are. Yeah, um, and we, it's been very clear, hasn't it, that he's not been well for some time now, but absolutely determined to carry on throughout the illness. Yes, he is. And again, you know, I had one or two people saying, and I listened to them on the air saying, oh, you should have done this and should have done that. The truth is, he's prime minister. He was elected to run his country. And no, uh, <clears throat> no prime minister is going to suddenly say, look, I'm not well. I'm just going to let somebody else do it. He does it up until the point, quite rightly, where he feels he can no longer contribute uh, because of the circumstances surrounding his illness. And I think he's done that. Now, that may have taken its toll. But that notwithstanding is pretty much the way I would have expected and thought he would have behaved. Uh, and therefore, I think right now we need to focus absolutely on uh, how we get through this. Let's pray that Boris comes through. I'm sure he will. I believe strongly in his capability and his determination and the work of the doctors and the nurses and this wonderful NHS that we've got. Uh, but uh, the, the point about many people watching this, they shouldn't worry about how government works. Government continues to work. We have a collegiate form of government here, the Cabinet. Decisions are made by the Cabinet collectively, although the Prime Minister leads on that and makes his very strong views about it. At the end of the day, he sums up where the Cabinet is and they move on that. So policy won't change. And Dominic Raab, I know and have a lot of confidence in, will be a strong uh, step in um, uh, for the Prime Minister, but will not suddenly change policy. 